has been hedging his bet bets all week, and Kelly and I said, come on, we're going to hold your feet to the fire. We want to know how much snow we're going to oh, get. Oh, yeah, totals are, I mean, it was certainly going to be a plowable event, you know, from a few days ago, but certainly uh, still looks to be that way as we get into this weekend, as we're getting closer to the time frame of the storm. Right now, here's a look in the heightened Kauai conditions for us. Still may notice a few flurries, especially into our northern tier. Kind of looks a little bit worse than what's actually falling at this time, but still a few flurries around uh, northern tier. Bradford, Susquehanna, Wayne counties can be expected but that should start to wrap up as high pressure continues to slide off to the east and you can see high pressure keeping things quiet across the eastern half of the United States. This area of low pressure over Texas and Oklahoma is actually the storm that we're going to be tracking heading our way for tomorrow. With that said, the National Weather Service has issued winter storm watches in effect. Uh, these will go into uh, place for tomorrow afternoon, continue for Saturday night and into uh, Sunday for us. Temperatures right now 24 Wilkes-Barre, Scranton 19 in Montrose. I have 20 in Holly, 28 and Jim Thorpe and right now at 29 in Williamsport. We've had some additional clouds overnight, so that's kind of kept those temperatures from falling uh, too much. As we look at wind chills, when you factor in still with the northwest wind, wind chills feeling like 5 in Mount Pocono, 20 Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, and 17 in Hazleton. So the storm timeline hasn't really changed much over the past several days. Still expecting a mainly cloudy start for Saturday morning. Steadier snow breaking out for the afternoon and evening and the uh, snow continues overnight. Some mixing possible, especially the farther south we live into the southern tier and into the southern Poconos. Uh, not expecting a major mixing, but there still could be some for some locations, but then expecting that steady snow to kind of wrap up Sunday morning and then we're just left with flurries and snow showers for the rest of the day on Sunday. So looking at future cast a little bit easier to see quiet conditions continue for the rest of the afternoon and into the overnight tonight. There will be an increase of cloud cover. We'll have a mostly cloudy sky overnight tomorrow morning quiet, but this is around lunchtime around 12 o'clock. You can see some flurry snow showers already breaking out into parts of central Pennsylvania and then really the steadier and heavier snow moving in as we head into the afternoon and evening that will continue overnight. Notice some of the pink showing up, especially the farther south. So expecting some mixing possible. This is mainly going to be a snow event for us and then uh, just left with some snow showers on the backside. At least a heavier snow will be out of here by early Sunday morning. Totals for us three to six out to central Pennsylvania, especially into the Wyoming Valley, and it looks like the heavier amounts will certainly be over the Pocono six to eight plus can be expected there. So uh, we'll update that if needed as we go throughout today and for tomorrow. But at least right now, things kind of staying in place from the map that we had yesterday. Mainly snow events, some mixing possible, so allow extra travel time this weekend. There will be some snow covered roadways and uh, with some of the mixing, that means it will be a little bit of a heavier, wetter snow to shovel. So take your time out there this weekend. 31 New Milford today, 35 in Tunkhannock for the Poconos. Uh, some spots may be struggling to climb out at the 20s. Moscow 29, 36 for the high, and Stroudsburg Southern Tier into the lower and mid 30s this afternoon. Susquehanna River Valley 36 in Williamsport, Lewisburg 36, Mount Carmel closer to the freezing mark, and our Valley City highs today into the mid 30s. So here's a look at your seven day forecast. Uh, snow moving in this weekend. We get a break from Monday. High pressure moves in at least briefly uh, before our next storm system moves in Tuesday. That will give us a little bit of a Snow wintry mixes start briefly before changing to uh, probably steady and heavy rain. Uh, potential there for some flooding issues, especially with the snowpack on the ground this weekend. But also a uh, bigger story will be uh, some of the winds, expecting those to be kind of gusty with that second storm. So uh, certainly a lot going on this weekend. We'll continue providing with updates for this weekend storm over the, the next day or two. And um, at least uh, still expecting a plowable snowfall for really mm -hmm. all of us across northeastern central Pennsylvania. Yeah, travel impact. I mean, at least yeah. it is on the weekend, so hopefully yeah, it's fewer people. Exactly, but yeah. still going to cause some issues for us, it sounds yeah, like. Yeah, definitely. So we'll keep you updated. Just keep checking back. We'll uh, kind of have more live coverage, especially as the storm's going through uh, for Saturday to Saturday night. Right. Okay. Yep.